with the potential for some strong storms later into the evening. So this is going to be after dark tonight. I uh, wanted to run down some of these. Of course, basement or an interior room. If we do have severe thunderstorm warnings, stay in until the warning expires. Have your cell phone charged up at WYTV.com. If there's severe weather, we start streaming. Uh, during thunderstorms, you also want to stay out of the shower. Uh, very conductive with uh, the piping and severe storms. What does that mean? It has one of three, three things, either 58 plus mile per hour winds, three quarter inch hail, or a tornado. Any one of those things would prompt a severe thunderstorm warning. It's marginal for us, a uh, smaller threat for us. Central Ohio will get the storm moving through when they're still at their warmest peak temperatures during the day. Uh, for us, the biggest threat is wind and gusty straight line damaging winds. You see a tornado threat not out of the question around the region for this evening. This morning, we're dealing with rain and temperatures cold enough for a little bit of some icy patches. Be mindful of that as you're grabbing your keys and heading out. Yeah, it's raining and also a little bit breezy. We're at 37 now. It's raining all around the valley. We all are getting wet right now. And you can see those winds about uh, 12 to 15 miles per hour here for this morning. Uh, tonight, we're going to see those gusty winds, as we mentioned, in excess of 35 miles per hour possible. So really going to be windy. Temperatures mild like a spring day, 42. Rain is going to be expected for the morning hours. Into noon, you see that really drops off, really isolated. 5 o'clock, we're going to start to see those storms start to get closer towards Portage County and moving through the area. Plotting it out here, you can see pinpoint radar. We're getting wet, but notice this dry expanse uh, through Indiana and Illinois. That'll be our afternoon. Uh, rainfall outlook already have uh, between 3 tenths and a half inch of rain for us, and we're going to see those numbers climb as we get that second round of thunderstorms coming through into the evening could top out at an inch of rain. So some ponding possible. All right, future cast plotting it out. There you see our lull into the afternoon, even break out a little sunshine. But here comes that wave of thunderstorms that'll be pushing through. Behind it, we'll see colder air. That'll support a rain-snow mix for the overnight. And then temperatures tomorrow aren't going to recover. We're going to have snow showers for our Friday and about an inch of accumulation for the afternoon hours. Uh, for the overnight Friday night into Saturday uh, could squeeze out uh, another inch. So as you can see, we're going to get some snow finally around the valley here <laughs> over the next 24 hours. Uh, temperatures today, 55 degrees. Warm rain mainly in the morning with an afternoon break. 35 tonight, some storms and gusty winds, wintry mix overnight. Seven-day forecast. Yeah, it's going to be a lot quieter for us in regards to our weather for Saturday. We'll be in the low to mid-30s. Sunday, watching another storm system. That's going to bring a rain-snow mix, mid-30s. Colder for Monday and Tuesday. Temperatures in the low to mid-30s with some scattered snow Monday. I have another few rounds Wednesday and Thursday.